Hello, I'm Wally Perez, your host for Tejano Traveler Adventures. On today's adventure, we will be going to the San Jacinto Battlefield State Historic Site and Park. It's two things, it's a historic site and a park. First thing you notice while there is a huge monument. It's supposed to be taller than the one at the White House. Um, it's a granite tower. At the top is a huge star. One of my main problems and coming to visit was trying to get all of it in the camera. It's pretty huge. You sort of have to pan up and down to get the most of it, but once you see it live and you see that it's the tallest thing for hundreds of miles around, it's a pretty awesome sight to see. At the bottom of the monument, San Jacinto Monument, is a cool little museum that talks about the battle. It's got some documents and special exhibits for you to see, as well as the history of the monument and how it was constructed, by who, and the work involved in doing it. I myself love the very Art Deco-ish looking things, artwork and architectural design that they used for it. I think it's a very communist, very socialist. But that's just me. You can also see one of my favorite Sam Houston paintings as he's choosing to go to war instead of more training after weeks and weeks of training and the Texans wanting the battle he finally decided yes San Jacinto is the place to go you can go all the way up to the top ride an elevator up to the star and you can see some of Houston you can see the restored marshlands that they're trying to make I myself am extremely scared of heights, so I spent maybe about a minute up here, and then I went down and I saw dioramas. I love dioramas. I love history dioramas, especially. I wish I could make them for a living. It was a Sam Houston steamboat house seen that before on the Texas Forest Trail. That's mostly it for the little museum that they have at the base of the monument. The rest of the site is a park where they're trying to restore the natural grasslands, marshlands, and wetlands that used to inhabit the place back when the battle took place. There's a little boardwalk that takes you to different areas of the park where you can see the monument from a distance as well as try to catch some of the wildlife. Now, when I was there, it was in the middle of the day, so it was pretty hot, so I'm pretty sure most of the birds are hiding. I tend to go visit places when it's hot, I guess. But there's some shade that you can get to and you can Take your picture with the awesome monument, enjoy more of the marshlands and grasslands and wetlands, I'm not sure what they're called. But as a kid when I came, I remember there only being at the monument, so it's kind of nice seeing that they have much more than that nowadays. I like how they're trying to restore the monument, trying to make it more like it used to look like back when the battle took place. You can pretty much see the monument from anywhere. Here I am faking a shot. Now around the park there's also these little granite markers that show you some of the history. For example that granite marker showed you where 
Sam Houston was wounded in the leg. Um, this is from where the Mexican camp was. Um, I don't remember what that one was, but it was important and that's why they have the little markers. You can drive across. The reflecting pool that they used to have is now being overtaken and they're letting it naturally grow out so that it looks like it used to long ago. But for history buffs, right across the San Jose Monument they have Battleship Texas. Battleship Texas was an awesome battleship that served during World War I and World War II. Um, they're currently fixing it so you can't really visit it. Um, which is a shame because it's a beautiful boat. Look at it. Just looking at it makes me want to get on and attack countries. As a fifth grader in Laredo, I still remember Mr. Johnson making us donate a quarter so that they could fix the battleship. I remember thinking, yes, I will bring a quarter and support this awesome ship because I wanted to be here forever. Now some other park stuff that they have right next to the battleship. You can see the channel where a lot of people fish and crab. There's a neat little park with plenty of shade and some monuments. For example, this, there's this monument to something celebrating something because it's important to remember something. And a graveyard, which I don't think is creepy enough. But I think the Zavala's of Lorenzo de Zavala fame were buried there. This monument celebrates the twin sisters, which are two cannons that helped the Texans fight against Mexico. Like I said, the grounds are pretty well maintained. Great picnic spots. And this is one of the more famous paintings about the San Jacinto Battle, and I'm trying to recreate it because I'm a history nerd. There I am, you know, negotiating with Santa Ana for his surrender so that Texas can be a free country. Yay, Texas! Let me know if I succeeded. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And go visit Texas. Thanks.